So what is the next section we want to do? We want to do actually like this. So over here, first, we're going to create this uh, uh, text controller, this image icon and the button. And then as well as we'll, we'll send messages. But the first thing of sending messages would be like, for example, from here, we'll send message and we'll see that the message has been saved in our Firestore database. So that's the first step we want to do. We're going to take the data from here and send it to Firebase Firestore database. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Now, here is our chat controller so far. And uh, at the top, actually, I'm going to declare some new variables. So let's go ahead and do that. So first, I would do uh, text over here, text controller like that. And then here we'll get text editing controller. Make sure they import the library and then actually we also going to work on scroll so here i'll have scroll, scroll controller and uh, here i would say message scrolling and then here i'll invoke uh, scroll, scroll controller and then because we are going to work with text editor so actually we want to create focus node for that and here we do content node and here we'd say focus node just like that and after that actually we also want to get user id so here user id equal fire user store user store dot two dot token now we already know how we get that thing right during the login so before everything we do over here, make sure that of course you are logging into the account, otherwise it won't work. Now then we'll get an instance of our Firestore Firebase database. So Firebase, uh, Firestore, I think it should be small letter. Yes. Okay, with this we are done. And then after that, actually we're going to create a new method. The method would call from, as we click on a button like this, and then we're going to call that method and that method would help us help us send data to backend to firestore database so here's the thing uh, we'll call it send message like this and that's all now inside this first we want to grab our text controller and text controller will have string so we'll say send content this is the content that we want to get and here my uh text uh, controller dot text that's what we want to get okay great so this is the first thing we want to get and then whatever the message we get uh so we want to convert it to an object using other properties so here we'll create a variable and we'll call it content and then here we have a model which is called msg content now inside this here we want to pass uid so here we'll have user id the one that we are getting early as you can see from here and then content and then here we'll say send content the one that we created so we are getting the text value from text editing controller and then the type of message we want to send to backend so that would be text message and then we also want to add a timestamp to it so here we do timestamp uh, dot now all right great so with this, we are getting an object. Now, once again, this is a model. This model deals help us dealing with the kind of message and information we want to send to backend. All right. So we have uh, from Firestore, which is the same as from JSON, and we have to Firestore, which is same as a to JSON. Okay. So this is a simple model that de deals with encapsulating and packaging our messages information with content type and at a time as well as a user id that who is sending this message all right come back to this section now this is the object that we want to convert to map before we send to database and this is the object that we want to convert to if we get message from database all right now right over here uh, this is a place actually where we want to send messages so once we click button we'll grab the text object and we'll put some information and then over here actually we are going to send the message to the back end so here we do await db dot collection now of course as we do that we have to have this async modifier now here we want to 
have this messages collection we already have it so what will happen we already have this so inside this filled section over here here we'll create a sub collection so all the messages the one we sent from our phone would be saved inside a sub collection over here all right so then we'll get the document id and here we'll have doc.id like this is the id or on the other hand this is the id actually document id and then over here we'll have a sub collection once again but this collection will create first time msg we'll call it messages list and then from here we'll invoke a new function which is called with converter with converter this one so let's get organized with this now here from Firestore, once again, MSG content, MSG content, this one. And then here we'll call from Firestore. And then just as usual, previously we have worked. Here we'll say, uh, So that's what we have and after that actually we want to invoke another method to this with converter because remember whatever the data we are having over here with this because of this with converter it will convert it to map data type which Firebase accepts because Firebase only accepts map data type it doesn't accept any kind of object. So here we'll call this add method. Now inside the add method we're going to send our content so this is the content now in, internally it will do a conversion of the object to map and then it would be here and then because we have this add method so it will add to the back end now here then here we want to because it's asynchronous operation so here we could do a little bit more operation that what's happening now inside this actually either you could do more stops or just print a message so for now over here inside this we do print message here it would say document snap shot added with id now here we're gonna do like this this is not coming from here so we need to change this so we can do document reference document 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 reference reference and then we'll call it doc yeah and uh, let's see over here actually we don't need this and we can just simply put it here okay the error should be gone so once this adds in this message list it will return us a new document and the document id we are gonna save or print actually and once the adding is done so here text editing controller we can just clear it we don't need that anymore so it's auto clear and then here we do get dot focus scope and then we'd call unfocus this. now this is coming from getx so it's beautiful so you'd be ready to use your text editing controller one more time all right and that's it and at the same time actually we can also add a time step to our messages list over here now here for now we'll see that last message and uh, so last message actually we don't want to add a time step actually we want to add the last message over here for now it's empty we want to add that okay all right so now one thing we need to do we need to find a way to call this method before we do anything else but anyway so there is one more step that we need to do so here we do await db dot collection and then inside this we'll have message and then you want to update 
So here we would call our doc and then doc ID, this one. And then here we would do update. And then here we would do last MSG. And here we're gonna send the content over here. So here we would say send content, the one that we have from user, that one. And at the same time, let's see. Okay, we need to cut this one and because update method takes map. So here we need this curly braces, otherwise we'll have error. Okay, so inside update, we have this one and then we put this and after that we can also update the last time last time something happened to this document so timestamp dot now okay great so with this we would be able to update a particular message document now this one is not here yet <coughs> The reason because we still don't have this uh, uh, button in our UI. So our UI actually should be over here, right? So now we're gonna work on the UI and uh, find a way to call this. And as we send messages, we'll see that our Firebase have, has been updated. Now to be able to work with this, first we need to come over here, uh, inside the scaffold and uh, the body section. We don't need it like this. So inside over here, we'll first have safe area and then here we'll have child and then we'll constrained box this one and then inside this we'll have child again and we'll use the stack widget over here and then we'll have children now inside constrained box i think i need to set up another property I've been driving this train Years in this lane There's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game And I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes Made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks Feeling lost, feeling great Popping off, singing straight Never stop, never changed All the squad here to play And I've got something to say, yeah I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause, no, I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never captain space I won't stop till I hear him say Need a cup of blend, that's right In the AM, that's my only friend No light, just the sun coming up on the horizon I lose track of time, yeah, I move fast and climb A new class divine, yeah, true passion shines And I'm through passing time, I choose stacking dimes You snooze half the time while I move passing by Controller over here, we do controller dot uh, text editing controller So the one that we have created early over here So this is the text editing controller that we are referring all right and then autofocus set it to false and then focus node now we created a focus node so we're going to invoke that one and content node like that all right so now let's save it and we already see that we have a text editing controller beautiful so very soon we'll be able to send messages and that's awesome <clears throat> ice in my veins i've been driving this train 
is in this lane There's no stop in this frame Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes Made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks Feeling lost, feeling great Popping off, singing straight Never stop, never changed All the squad here to play And I've got something to say, yeah I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause, no I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never cap in space I won't stop till I hear him say up again i got tired eyes need a cup of blend that's right in the am that's my only friend no light just the sun coming up on the horizon i lose track of time yeah move fast and climb a new class divine yeah true passion shines and i'm through passing time i choose stacking dimes you snooze half the time while i move passing by we have i work hard each and every day beautiful now let's save everything yes uh well now i i do think that here we could do a bit of margin otherwise it looks strange so here we'll have margin and in this only dot only now here left let's put 10 and then top 5.h and it should help us yeah so it's more like more centered right now and uh, let's take out these red lines most probably uh, we don't need this new icon okay great so well uh, now this is the time we're ready to send messages now as you see here everything is empty for this document we don't have any sub collection so what will happen right now if I click on this send a message so this message section should get cold and as it gets cold over here first it'll find this collection if it doesn't exist it'll create one and then we know that we already have a document over here if not it will create one actually there is already one document like we are passing uh, the document ID as we clicked on from here so as we click on from here we already have the document ID right then it will create a message list collection and then whatever the information that we have from here so it's gonna add it and after that we just do some cleaning up work but this is not very important and at the same time we're gonna update our firebase message collection with the last message and the timestamp all right so we just simply call update now this is beautiful now let's go ahead and uh, say this is well this is looks like we do have a bit of issues well, let's restore the wrap and see if still persist this error now here we are and here we see our user and let's focus on this and try to type in yes the error is gone all right so here I would say this is our first message let's send it of course we don't say it here but here it says that added with document snapshot ID this one right beautiful and this is very exciting moment over here well let's go ahead and refresh it and we would be able to see that we have a new collection over here message list it's beautiful and inside this we have this document ID and then over here we do see that this is our first message and now we we'll do it a little bit live over here so I'm gonna send more messages from here and we'll see that it gets updated automatically this is our second message yeah as you see this is a new document ID that created and here we see that this is our second message and at the same time if you take a look carefully you'll see that uh, this over here has been updated as well according to the last time so this is our second message and this is the last time 
uh, timestamp. It's beautiful. So that means that we we are already able to send messages to Firebase, dynamic messages, and we are able to save them. So next, we'll see how to read them back.